<coughs> oh, shit. <coughs> it has snuck up on me, child. Oh. If you are under 18. <coughs> 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 Like I was saying, if you under 18, you do not need to be watching this video. No, ma'am. Bye-bye. Two dudes. Smooches. And if you over 18, bitch, I suggest you light a blunt, bitch. We need to smoke together. Make sure you are smoking a blunt when you are watching this. Alright y'all, I'm doing something different. My car like makes a little noise when it's running, but it's super hot outside so I had to turn the car on and I had to turn the air on bitch because y'all wasn't gonna get this hot box any other way, huh? Y'all, I know this is random, but do y'all think that Patti LaBelle is going to be invited to Aretha Franklin's funeral? Like, I don't know, because the last situation they had or whatever, it wasn't a good one. The last time I seen him in the same room was when Aretha was getting ready to perform or whatever, and then Patty had reached out like, hey, girl, let me go ahead and fix your little shawl or whatever. And Aretha had double back, did a dip and a slip, and was like, bitch, don't touch me. I'm not fucking with you like that. And now she kicking up daisies. So it's like, I don't know, you know if she got it right with Patty, or if they made amends before Aretha had plucked her last rose. Y'all, girl. So I had to go and get me a new barber, okay? Because the barber that I've been using for the last couple of months fucking Beijing to me. What the fuck? Like, bitch, I got a hairline. I do. My edges is there. They are. So what I don't need is for a motherfucker to be hush, hush, hush. And at first I was like, mm, I wonder what this is because lately niggas been spritzing my edges. And then razor blading my edges in the front. Bitch, that's what I thought he was doing. But I'm like, ain't nothing coming out of this. Hush, hush, hush. Ain't nothing coming out, bitch. So what the fuck? Bitch, I get to the house and I go to take my shower. And I go to wash my hair. And bitch, I got black shit on my fingers. And I'm like, what the fuck is going on here? Nigga gave me a motherfucking Beijing, bitch. My hairline is not receding, bitch. I am not going bald and I do not suffer from alopecia. So, bitch, why in the fuck did you feel it necessary to Beijing me, bitch? Oh, girl, I must have called him and cussed him the fuck out. Which is why when I needed to get my hair cut today, I went to somebody totally different. I didn't even go to the same fucking barbershop. Bitch, I don't even want to see you. How dare you? And the worst thing of it all is y'all, he didn't even mess up my fucking hairline. So you Beijing it for nothing. You wasting good Beijing on somebody who don't even fucking need it. So bitch, Nicki Minaj then released her album or whatever and I think it's a bop. Now, why everybody in a mama want to hate on her and make her the villain is beyond me. Like, I did want her to respond to Remy Ma just like everybody else did, but damn, like, y'all just going to deny that this fucking album knocks? And I mean, it knock, 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 knock. It knocks, bitch. Like, it goes. She was giving y'all, oh, shit, I just vacuumed my car. Here I go, ashing in this bitch. Can't keep nothing. Um, she was giving us mixtape Nikki, bitch. All through and through, she was giving us some mixtape, Nicole. Well, not Nicole. Her name is Onika. And where did y'all get that from, Onika? Oh, let me stop, because I know somebody named Onika. And she is such a holy woman. But I can't deny her name is ghetto as fuck. I just can't deny it. Y'all, what else we gonna talk about? Bitch, so I signed up for Tinder. Waste of my fucking time. The niggas on Tinder, it's just like the niggas on Jax. All they wanna do is, what you doing? When you gonna come see? Boy! Uh, 
I'm on a whole nother platform. You supposed to be moving a whole nother way. Get to know me. Take me out. Set up a date. Y'all trifling on Tinder? Damn. I cannot make it on Christian Mingo. You know the church folks don't like the gays. But they use us for the choirs and the decorations and the hair and, and the music mm -hmm, and the fashions. All that. But they don't like us. They don't support us. So I can't go on Christian Mingle. I didn't hear no gay success stories from blackpeoplemeet.com. And bitch, I am not signing up for eHarmony. Bitch, please. First of all, the song y'all use, that's what happened. Uh-uh. That just screams that I got to be over 55 to get what I need about this goddamn program. What I really need, bitch, is what motherfucking Jennifer had on Basketball Wives, okay? Let me have a little bingo night, and whoever gets, what, what, what was it, uh, what did he say? I think it was hot, whatever the fuck it was, hot sauce or whatever. You you scream out your little hot sauce or whatever, then you come to my table and we see how things move. Or maybe I need to do lifts like on Insecure, bitch. Because East was about to fuck that cute light-skinned boy that was on How to Get Away with Murder before he had ran off. But, bitch, I can't do that. Shit, I got a fucking record. I beat a bitch ass back in 2012, and bitches still want to hold that against me. Okay, bitch? Like, damn, you beat one bitch ass, and now you a fucking terrorist. Bitch, that is my past. I don't live there anymore. Nah, bitch, for real, though. Let me go down the list, bitch. I done tried to do Lyft. I tried to do Instacart. I tried to do Uber. I tried to do... No, 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 not Uber, because I don't want people in my fucking car, bitch. I tried to do Uber Eats. I tried to do Favor. Everybody had a motherfucking issue with my record. Uh, it's felons out here stealing, killing, and all the above, and they getting jobs, bitch. But I can't shop for nobody. I can't pick up no food and drop it the fuck off. I do it with my friends all the time. Well, I used to. Now them bitches got cars. Or they just don't call me no more because they understand that I ain't that friend. I'm not that bitch. Mm -mm. Bitch, when you need a favor, do not look me up. I'm sorry. Like, and vice versa, bitch. When I'm going through, I don't call none of my friends. It ain't your damn problem. Ooh, bitch. What y'all think about Omarosa and these secret tapes? Have y'all heard them? Can somebody drop me the link or some shit? Because she keeps talking about these damn tapes and I ain't heard a bitch ass syllable. I want to hear something. Give us something. Bitch, speaking to give us something. Stop adding all these characters and new people to the goddamn Scream reboots if we not gonna get a goddamn release date. Damn, y'all keep adding people. Do y'all Have y'all even started filming? I wanna see. And I ain't never seen Tiger act, bitch, so he gonna have to come with it. Okay? Mary J. Blige did okay in, in Black Nativity and I can do better by myself. But I'm gonna need Tiger to come through. Okay, y'all, so I think I like a guy. And he just found out that I like him. Cause I had to do like this little repost thing on Instagram. Y'all know what I'm talking about. The whole like, I had put that little post up and I was like, if you lose or whatever, you gotta post who you had lost to. And I didn't post his name, I just said my future husband, but he had already known I had lost to him. And then he went and watched my snap. So he knows that I like him. But, eh. like, I don't know what's next. And y'all, please do not say, ooh, hop in his DMs and ask him out, bitch. I'm not that girl. Y'all, a bitch that fucked around and got two goddamn jobs. I'm so proud of myself, but I'm so fucking tired, y'all. Like, and some may ask why, too. Because, bitch, I was coming to y'all with so much fucking energy week after week for all of these reviews. And y'all, from August until August, a bitch was not working. I had my parents in my life. I was making money from other things that I was doing with my career. But as far as a consistent source of income, bitch, I was out here winging it. And sometimes it was rough as fuck, okay? So I ended up just applying to these random jobs and I got the first job about a week prior to the interview for the second job. But after I did reviews on the company, they was like, they take a long time to hire you and bring you on. Even after you are hired, your start date may be like three months down the line. And I was like, bitch, I'm not trying to get a job to wait three months to start working, bitch, hell no. So even though I had already been offered one particular job, when I got the interview for the second, I said, bitch, I'm just gonna go for the fuck of it. 
and I was just myself and ended up getting that job as well. And I said, God, that was a time when I was trying to get work and could not for a year behind my fucking record. And now you done blessed me with two, I'm gonna take them both. And I'm trying to manage that and being the cat's meow and being a regular person and having a regular life and you know spending time with my friends and my family and y'all it's a lot it's a lot it's strenuous i'm so fucking tired my body is sore but i dare not complain i dare not and even though i just did um that's all you're gonna get out of me and even after i complain i'm gonna still do this shit like i don't know how long that bitch i'm gonna do it for as long as i possibly can but Bitch, I'm going for this bag. Until shit really pop off, I'm gonna get this bag the best way I know how, the best legal way I know how. But bitch, let me say something. Part-time job. If my schedule say 10 o'clock, that's what time I'm looking to die at that motherfucking door. Bitch, when my coworker told me last night, cause I had just started at the second job, my fucking coworker gonna tell me, you leave when it's done. That's not what my goddamn schedule say. Uh-uh. It's at 10. 10, 15 to be exact. Don't play with me second job. I'm grateful and I love you. But I will limit the fuck out that availability. Don't have me leave at 9. Knowing the store closed at 10. 